Scrivener auto saves your work as you go, allowing you to write without fear of losing your progress by forgetting to save. But if you want to save an older version of your work, perhaps a rough draft of your document which could go in a few different directions, or a finished first draft before a major edit, you can use the snapshots feature. The simple idea behind snapshots is that you take a snapshot of your current document as it is, then after making some edits, it's possible to roll back to the original document or even compare the two versions of the document to review your edits. To take a snapshot, go to Documents, Snapshots, Take Snapshot, or use the keyboard shortcut Command 5. You'll hear a sound effect like a camera shutter, and you'll see the document icon now has an earmark, this curled corner of the page here. This indicates that this text file now has a snapshot associated with it. You'll notice the other icons in my project are unaffected by this, but if I want to take a snapshot of multiple documents, it's as simple as selecting them all in the binder while holding down shift to select a large group, then using command 5 to take snapshots of each document in my selection. If I now go to documents, snapshots, show snapshots, the inspector opens to the snapshots pane which we can easily navigate to or from using the row of icons. An asterisk appears by the snapshots icon to denote that a snapshot is available for the current document. A list of the snapshots I've taken is presented at the top of the inspector, and I can double click where it says untitled snapshot to give this one a title manually. Now let's make some changes to this document. I'll delete a word here, a sentence there, maybe add some text here, and add more text elsewhere. I'll also format an area changing the text to bold. Now I'll take a second snapshot using Shift Command 5, so I can immediately add a title to my snapshot. Now let's say I make a spur of the moment decision to delete this paragraph, but the next day I decide I need it back. Since I've taken a snapshot, that paragraph isn't lost forever despite having saved the document. I can now revert the document to a previous version. This is done by selecting a snapshot from the list in the inspector, and clicking Roll Back. Scrivener prompts me to take another snapshot, but I'm positive I don't want to keep this version of the document, so I'll click No. The document rolls back to the previous version, and my deleted paragraph is restored. Out of curiosity, or perhaps to see what changes an editor has made, you might want to compare the latest version of a document to the original. This is easily done using snapshots. I have the current version in the editor, I make sure I've selected the original snapshot in the inspector, and I just click Compare. The text box here in the inspector now displays a document with the text changes between the two versions clearly visible. Deletions appear in red with a strike through, additions appear blue and underlined, and the arrow buttons allow you to navigate to the next or previous changes. Incidentally, these colors are customizable from your preferences. Go to Scrivener Preferences, open the Appearance pane, and click Snapshots, where you can choose the colours for deleted text and new text. Let's go back to the inspector, where I'm still comparing my two versions. If I click on Original, the text box here will return to displaying just the snapshot. Back in Compare mode, if I hold down the Option key, it allows me to refresh the compared version of the document, which is useful if you carry on making changes to the current document in the editor with the snapshot open alongside it. Snapshots can also be opened in an editor split or a copy holder. Simply split the editor and drag a snapshot from the list in the inspector into the header bar, or control click on the snapshot and choose view on copy holder. Notice that a camera icon appears in the header next to the title, and the background colour is a light grey, indicating this is a snapshot. In both the copy holder and the split editor, the contents of a snapshot cannot be edited. Their whole purpose is to preserve your document, so they are read only. With the snapshots pane open in the inspector, it's easy to take a new snapshot or remove old snapshots using the plus and minus keys here. I can even compare two snapshots against each other rather than to the current document by holding shift or command to select them both, then clicking compare. The last thing we'll look at is how Scrivener can be set up to take snapshots sort of automatically. By opening your preferences, clicking General and choosing Saving from the list, you'll be given the option to take snapshots of any changed text documents whenever you manually save your project. That way, Scrivener's autosaves will not take snapshots, but you can hit Command-S or go to File Save 
to take snapshots of any documents which have been edited during that session, as well as saving the project. If you also use the Scrivener mobile app, you can click on sharing and open the sync options, then check this box to take snapshots of your documents before syncing any changes you've made on your tablet or mobile phone. This allows you to easily compare or roll back any edits you made while away from your computer. That's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching and happy writing.